When will the great war take place? My answer, which will surprise you, is that the legal state of war has already commenced. That when you're imposing these sanctions and seizing Russian property, seizing Russian money, stealing it, you are, you are declaring war. That's what they've done to Russia. I think $300 billion worth of Russian money stolen, frozen. Uh, Russian property, Russian aircraft, they're just seizing them, freezing them. This is a declaration of war. Russia cannot sell her oil. Russia cannot sell her, her wheat, her food. It is uh, something commendable. But what I want to say concerning the Great War is not only that the legal state of war has already commenced, but also the Russia has the right to choose the time of his own choice to commence the fighting because you are strangulating Russia and when someone is being strangulated you put a rope around his neck and you're tightening it he is the one who will decide when he will choose to decide what to do to remove the rope from him. It's not you who will decide when the war will take place. He will decide because you are strangling him, strangulating him. If he has the power to remove the rope from around his neck and dispose of those who are attacking him, then he will choose the time to do it. So I don't know when Russia will do it. So you are strangulating Russia. This and perhaps it is Russia who will decide when the war will begin, the fighting will begin. I don't think it will take much time for the war to be over. But our prophet has prophesied. They're going to be fighting for the mountain of gold. Because what the sanctions are doing is the sanctions are causing the monetary system to collapse. It's already vulnerable the petrodollar monetary system and I gave my interpretation of the hadith long long years ago 